Hey guys, it's Baby Powder, and we are back to our 200 runs uh, loot video. Uh, this time it's for BFD or Black Fathom Depths. Uh, and in this video, we will go over the loot that we received after doing 200 runs. Uh, 100 runs worth of loot on our Alliance Bank Alt, and 100 runs worth of loot on our Horde Bank Alt, because we run 100 runs on our Alliance Druid and 100 runs on our Horde Druid. And the reason why we do that is so we can continuously run the dungeon uh, without having to stop uh, so we can get closer to that 200 goal uh, without getting locked out. Um, so, you know, of course, after 10 runs, you get locked out, so you have to swap over. Uh, and another reason why we do it is because we are posting on two different realms, although they do trade between each other. We do keep the loot separate at first, just kind of see who brought in what. Uh, but they are working together to get us to the goal because the challenge is to see how long it takes us to hit gold cap while only adding one uh, dungeon to our cells each week. And the reason why we do that is to just adding everything in at once is to kind of just see the data as far as, you know, how much our cells improve each week after adding a dungeon and another 200 runs to our cells each week. Not taking anything away. We're still, you know, just adding. So we're not trying to look to see if this dungeon improved our cells just by itself. We're just adding on to it. So we'll still see cells from previous items we've collected, but we just want to see how much we need to build up our stock with a variety of different items and how many items and from where uh, that can start to improve and help us out. Uh, so with all that being said, uh, we did finish, actually, if you've been following me on Twitch, which you can find the link down below and come join us on Twitch and run some of these with us and do some lax. Um, it is a lot of fun. The more we get to get, you know, join us, uh, the more competitive it gets and the more fun it gets to be. So, you know, the more the merrier. Um, but anyway, if you've been following us on Twitch, you see we've already actually been finished with BFD for a while now. And we've actually, we actually already started on Iron Docks and we've been running that on Twitch, but actually just finished Iron Docks tonight. So <laughs> next up is Rack Theron Keep. Uh, and so that's why I'm trying to go ahead and get this done. I'm actually getting this done quite early. I haven't even done the clean out video yet for where we added Willing Caverns. Uh, so we won't even be able to add this stuff till next week. But by the time you guys see this video, it'll be on Monday. It'll be next week. I've already started posting these items. So anyway, with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump into our first Alliance Bank Alt and take a look at the loot that they received from 100 runs and then we'll jump over to our horde bank alt from our horde druid and their 100 runs and see what they got so here we are we are on our alliance bank alt and as I open this up right here here i have actually separated out Pretty much all the blue items. I did leave one green item here just because it is this Saint Jawine uh, robe. Hopefully, I said that right. Um, but anyway, it's uh, 138,000 region value. So, not a bad little amount <laughs> at all. So, I figured it was worth still showcasing that one. We do still have some high value greens over here. You'll see, you know, high value to me is anything over 20,000. Um, but uh, that's only 16, but we had something in here. What was it? I think it was the spike chain stuff. So like if I even like, I can just do this. We have some items here and no, not those. That, I mean, the gloves right there, 21,000 gold, um, 24,000 for the shoulders. I felt like we had some pants as well. Maybe it's mixed. Yeah, right here. Outrunners, laggards, uh, 33,000 for those. Um, so yeah, some other little things in here, 52,000 <laughs> 52, actually for the centuries that maybe could have even went up there. Um, so yeah, not bad, not bad. We got some decent greens, some high value stuff here. I just felt like none of this stuff was really, you know, too out of the box, you know, 39,000, uh, to really showcase really it's all about the blues and even some of our blues here might be lower than some of the value of some of these greens here, but anyway uh first up for our blues we've got the uh martyr's chain uh it's fifty six thousand gold for that one uh we only got one of those and then we got the tree bark jacket we actually got five five of those uh and those are going for forty four thousand region value um of course actually on this round it's a lot lower than that but <laughs> it might be different when we actually send it over to proud uh then we got the staff of the friar uh, that's for 64,000 gold. I uh, got another staff right here, Staff to the Bless here. Uh, 58,000 gold for that one. Uh, then we got two of these Crested Scepters. 
very nice 351,000 gold for that uh then we got the evocators blade hopefully i said that right too uh 25,000. that was kind of low compared to everything else um but still not bad not bad it's just a little dagger and then we've got doom spike which is 48,000 gold um so not bad we've got what one two three four five six seven uh six thirteen thirteen blue items uh from our alliance druid and again like i said we did get the uh robe here that is 138,000, which i still feel is a really good amount for a green there are the spike chain leggings which um are really nice in value we didn't seem to get any of those on our alliance druid and i do think i believe we did get some that might be over on our poor druid we'll see that in just a bit and then i did separate we did actually get some, a lot more white items from uh bfd than we did from welling caverns which i thought we might actually see more when we actually did welling caverns than we did but we didn't um but you see here we got the mystics shoulder pads we ended up getting nine of those um and then we got the Ritual of Mist, which we actually got that from Welling Caverns as well. And we've got eight of those. Uh, then we got uh, the Pagan Mantle, uh, that seven of those. Uh, we got the War Paint Shoulders, which we also got from Welling Caverns. I uh, got 10 of those. Um, and then uh, Outrunner's Pauldrons, I only got one of those. Um, and then we also got the Feral Shoulder Pads here, 17,000, not bad for those, seven of them um so yeah not bad got some other little small value blues here as well actually that's another sorry about that oh <laughs> we actually got three of these i didn't realize we have one uh still sitting in the bags over here i must have missed that um black thing we got that actually out of a chest i felt like the chests weren't as good with bfd as say like rfd i felt like we weren't getting as much out of those uh as when we were doing rfd so um really wasn't really too pleased with the chest and the openings of those compared to like i said rfd um but then again we did get some items here and there um and yeah it just made me question whether or not it was worth it actually getting uh you know the little blast packs to open them <laughs> but anyway not bad we still got some high value greens in here a lot of decent low value stuff i do feel like this dungeon we got more to sell like uh we actually like built up our stock more than any other dungeon we've done so far uh, as you see and i mean we do have a lot of duplicates but we also have a lot of different items too and a lot of stuff that we can continuously try to post on the auction house compared to you know the loot that we've seen from the previous dungeons i feel like we have not had as much to keep and actually try to post on the auction house uh on with any other dungeon we've done so far um but anyway then we also did get some old herbs and stuff just like previously we've gotten uh and a lot of this stuff could have been coming from the chest as well like the leather of course that came from the chest uh we got some old gems we even got some pearls here uh as you do get like the smaller clams that you can actually open you know all those murlocs and you know the water stuff <laughs> so it kind of makes sense um but anyway yeah guys so that is what we've got for the first 100 uh runs on our alliance druid um we'll go ahead and cut the video and we're gonna come right back all right guys so here we are we're back with our horde bank alt and let's go ahead and take a look at what they got so as you can already tell this area is a lot fuller than what the alliance was so uh, to me it looks like they smoke the alliance up uh big time then again though i mean they do work together we will be trading stuff off between each other um so really it is a team effort <laughs> so it's not really a competition but they did we really got a lot more blue items uh although we did get uh something a little bit different here uh than what the alliance got so you see here we got the onyx claymore and we actually got four of those at 264,000 uh region value um though the lions did not get one of these and we got four on our horde root we didn't get any of these scepters uh as we had two of those on the line so that's like something we can be trading between each other two of these for two of those or or one of those actually 
<laughs> so they still have one to post. Um, we got the staff of the fryer. We actually got two of those where the lights only had one. And then we actually got five of the staff of the blessed seer. Um, and we only had one on the alliance. We got three of the martyrs chain, uh, where we only had one of the alliance as well. Um, then we only had got two of the tree bark jackets where we had five on the alliance of those. We got three doom spikes. Uh, the alliance only had one. And then we got the ring of precision although it's just a ring so really not uh putting too much hope in this selling but we will trade one over to the alliance just to see if we get lucky in one moves um i have sold trinkets and rings in the past uh but nothing really like that nothing that high as it's saying this is worth 460 thousand. it's just ridiculous uh i i you know i've sold like the I've mentioned this many times on stream. I've sold the uh, Lifestone Trinket. That's a classic trinket. I've sold that for like 30000 or so. Um, uh, rings, I think the most I've sold one for is maybe about 20000 or something like that. Um, that was an old ring, uh, but nothing really more than that. Um, but yeah, still, I mean, have seen rings and stuff sell. Just nothing crazy like 460000 um and then uh we also did we got the spike chain leggings and we actually got two of those which is nice which means we can trade one over as well uh so yeah that one's 199,000 region value um and it's actually it looks like somebody's posted it for almost 300,000 so almost 100,000 more uh than what uh what it's actually uh valued at um and as far as other items again we've got a lot of you know High value green items uh really only thought the spike chain leggings were worth actually showcasing we didn't get the uh sanguine robe um unfortunately we only got one of the alliance characters so we can't really trade one over to this group to try to sell it maybe if it doesn't move for a couple weeks we can try to switch it over here for a couple weeks and whichever um but yeah really not really trying to trade stuff over unless we got duplicates because you never know when something's going to sell one realm or the other um but yeah uh with that though we did get a nice little variety of about the same items the spike chain pieces you know pretty much go for high value sometimes low and then we got century pieces which you know pretty nice we got a whole bunch of these gloves here almost uh or just two of them but still two of them almost fifty thousand gold and we can actually even separate stuff out like i mean i should have done this with the alliance but you see what century pieces here you know the wrist thirty three thousand, the gloves um, basically fifty thousand twenty one thousand for the belt um and then you know the spike chain stuff was the other kind of popular set if i can type here what are you doing baby powder <laughs> it's a little bit lower but yeah twenty one thousand for the gloves we got the belt here only five thousand then 24,000 for the shoulders. Although somebody's going crazy trying to sell it for 184,000 on this room. Um, and then uh, we did even get the manual of strong anti venom, a little value piece, but just something a little bit different. Um, 6,000 gold. I think that come out, came out of the chest too. Uh, again, we got like the old herbs, some leather, some old gems as well to try to sell. And then we got our white items, pretty much the same thing. A whole bunch of the mystic shoulder pads, uh, some ritual of mist. Uh, and then we got uh, feral shoulder shoulder pads. I don't know, do we have those on the lights? Can't remember. I think we did. I think we did. Um, Pagan's mantle. Uh, we got the outrunner's pauldrons, which actually I think we only had one of those on the lights, if I remember right. And here we got, um, what is this, seven? Seven of them? or yeah uh and then war paint shoulders again we only got three of these so i think we had a lot more on the alliance and last time we did well in cameras we had none of these for our horde but we we had like three on our alliance um so yeah some items you know seems like it likes one more than the other <laughs> possibly uh but anyway guys yeah it's really nice we got this good variety now uh we can trade like i said some of these uh onyx claymores over to the alliance we can uh, also trade one of these rings. We can trade the spike chain leggings. Of course, we can't trade over the sanguine robe from uh, Alliance to this one because we only got one. But we will be able to at least trade over that scepter from the Alliance to this group uh, and kind of see if, uh, you know, adding those items onto that realm can help out since we have the duplicates. 
Uh, but anyway, guys, uh, that is going to be all for this loot video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, enjoyed seeing what we got here. Um, I really enjoy seeing these videos, uh, you know, when we actually go over it, just because uh, it kind of gives me an idea when things do sell, if you know, where we sold it from and everything. Um, and it is nice just to see what could possibly come out of this dungeon after so many runs. Um, so anyway, uh, like I said, the next one up will be Iron Docks, which I actually did finish tonight. <laughs> but as far as going over the loot and actually seeing what we got from all 200 runs, uh, that will be coming out next Monday. Um, and actually, it's not Monday yet, but this is when this video will be coming out. Again, if you guys are interested in seeing me run these dungeons live and actually join us in some wax and see how well you can do as well uh, and, you know, getting that little competition going on with the lack uh come on over to twitch the link is down below uh and if you like seeing these videos and would like to see a lot more just make sure you hit that thumbs up down below to like the video and make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss another video uh and again on sundays is where we post the or we actually will upload the uh clean out and see how well our sales did for the week uh so you don't want to miss that either just to see if we did sell any of these items and if we sold any of the items from the previous weeks where we've added dungeons uh, anyway guys that is all for this video i hope to see you guys in the next one or on stream and that is going to be it. I'll see you guys later. Y'all have a great day.